When did you get over maybe the mental hurdle of, you know, I'm cutting on this knee for the first time, all, all that stuff? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm really not sure. I remember OTAs, I was still a little, you know, just taking things slow. But somewhere between then and now, I, I, I got a lot of confidence in my leg. What have you done? I remember about the, the night you hurt your knee. And I remember like your dad was here that night. I know you worked hard. And what, how tough was that? And what were kind of your thoughts when you in the locker room and heard that? I mean, it was... It was dramatic for me. I was, you know, teary-eyed. I was crying. It, it, it was just a huge emotional blow. It was something unexpected. I didn't understand things. I, you know, I, I knew the process that was to come. Um, I knew where I was, and it was something that, that really tried to keep me down and uh, defeat me mentally. But, uh, you know, that's not what I choose to agree with or choose to live. So I just, you know, chose to work to get back. Caleb, in the, the toughest days, in the toughest days in the journey back, what kind of maybe helped push you through? Definitely my faith. I'm a big, big faith guy, big spiritual guy. Uh, guy. Without God, you know, without my Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, I, I wouldn't be here talking to you guys. I wouldn't still be trying to chase my dreams. And I, it, it definitely, that's that's the only thing that kept me going. What's been the key conditioning-wise for you? Because you've not been able to play a lot of football between the injuries and COVID over the last two or three years. What's been the key conditioning-wise for you to be able to keep up? Uh, Frank, um, the training staff, the strength staff, they do a great job getting us in shape, telling us what we need to do. And then uh, Braves does a great job uh, at practice, you know, pushing us and this team, uh, you know, pushes each other. So that gets you in shape. Did it help at all that this was not the first time you had torn the ACL, that you had gone through that whole experience before? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of a hard question. I wouldn't say anything helped or hurt. It's it's, it's going to be a, a grueling process regardless. You know, you just got to encourage. You got to find something, your wise, uh, to encourage you to keep you going, to keep to keep you playing. What are, what, are, what are some things you like about this defense and some of the guys you're playing alongside? Uh, just the, the, quick, the quickness and the physicality of it. You know, it tunes in to mind the way I like to play the game, you know. You know, all the guys communicate well. I, I was, it was quick for me to get, get, you know, get acclimated into it. So many people are saying this could be a top 10, top 5 defense. For sure, know, for sure. And obviously, you guys feel that way, but what has to be done here in camp to get you guys to that level? Just uh, every day continuing to improve, you know, improve on communication, improve on, appreciate that, just um, uh, improve on, you know, getting in, like, learning defense and then just come out every day trying to work on that, doing that. Exactly. Alongside a guy like David Long, I mean, this guy, that guy's a machine. He's not the biggest guy, but he's, he's tough. Yeah, he he's works. What do, you, what do you like about that guy? He works. He works. Like, he works like I work. We, we both have a similar style of play. Yeah, like, if you stay on the field, that's something I like about him. How cool was it to have Ric Flair? <laughs> oh, that was dope. dope. Were, were you a wrestling fan growing up? Loved it. Yeah. Loved Rick, it. Rick Flair playing, fan too? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Why is he so popular? You always hear that. Everybody knows him. Like more than I mean, almost any wrestler it's, it's Rick, now. It's Ric Flair. Who doesn't know Rick? I mean, if you watch wrestling going up for sure, I, I know I did. I know a lot of people I know did. You knew Ric Flair. <laughs> so, Zach, with the way last year went, obviously wasn't you know ideal, but were you glad to end up here the way it worked out back in Nashville? I mean, did you, did yeah, you I, I, I'm happy mean, at the end of the day? I mean, yeah, for sure. I definitely feel like I was blessed with the situation and the, the way uh turned out, you know, it ended up being a, one of the better situations for me. So that I was definitely happy about that. So when you, I mean, did you have any sense it was going to go that way? I mean, they go on waivers, it could have been anybody. Not yet. So I, I, I wasn't really sure. I mean, and it came out at like last second. That's where it came out to be. I was definitely happy, excited for the opportunity. Well, and, and so when you come back here, are you, are you thinking you want to stay a while and whatever needs to be done off the field to make that happen? Or are you thinking like, hey, this is where I'm I mean, stay? I'm really just trying, trying to focus on this year, for real. Just focus on uh, you know where we're at now as, as a team and just focus on that. How much different for you, Zach, being able to start camp this year with the team, kind of get prime for the season after being here for six weeks? Uh, I mean, I definitely have more more time, more uh, more more the, uh, the time and experience to get you know learn more of the defense, get more in tune with the defense. Uh, that was definitely a great, great thing to see him. Uh, you know, we never know when I'll get that chance again, so it was cool. Yeah. Seventy-three-year-old guy about to get back into the ring for one more match. I mean, does you know you see that? Does that help you push through a tough day, being a young guy? Nah, for sure. Uh, it just shows you. Uh, as long as you got that fight in you, you know you you can do whatever you want. Um, Hopefully one day, I won't be playing football at 73, but, uh, you know, hopefully I want to be in those shoes one day where I'll be 73 still doing what I love, you know, whatever that may be.
I know Jill kind of touched on it, but just the fact that a lot of people are saying this could be a top 10, top five defense this year. I know it starts here. What do you guys have to do here to get to that level for the season? Uh, just the little things, you know, just being on the same page. Once the offense breaks the huddle, you know, that's communication. Uh, I feel like if we communicate, we line up, uh, we'll be able to, you know, stop whoever is in front of us, you know, as long as we're on the same page. You know, a lot of guys have that mentality to, to we know what we have to do to take that next step. So that'd be big. Why, why is there so much confidence with you guys in the secondary? What, what makes you guys? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, you know, we've uh, played together last year, most of us, you know, so we kind of have that, um, that bond, bond that back there. So uh, that gives us uh, some confidence, but we adding, you know, some new guys in there. So we just have to uh, bring them along the road, you know, to make sure that they're on the same page with us. Can you share with us some of the things Rick told you guys? Or? Um, I mean, you know, he just, you know, got to work hard, play hard. You know, he's rooting for us. You know, uh, we're his team.